have made it to Detroit. So we've gone to like three states. Feels like we've been in three states, no joke. So we're now in Detroit. The airport here is very nice. It's even nicer than the one in Georgia. They have a whole air, that's an air, a train thingy up there. I think that's very cool. I'm ready for this trip. I'm ready to be in London already. My nail, I'm having, I'm not having issues with this nail in Jesus' name. So when I get to London, somebody's gonna have to fix this one for me because this don't make no sense. It's still fine, Sha. Okay, so we are still in LHR. We've been here for quite a little bit. We had a few hiccups. Um, I went through customs, really wonderful. The last time I came in November, I had to go through like the really long line, but I think they've grouped America now with the UK. So the only thing that me I want is Nando's. I need to go to a nail shop and fix this nail. Oluwari me. I don't know what I was thinking with them nails. It matched my dress though. It really does match my dress. But anyways. We're in boots. We're gonna get some walk chips. This, this looks like Nigeria. Just like Nigeria. This is like Nigeria. This is like a Nigeria supermarket. Yeah, we're still at the airport. <laughs> yes, tell me why we're staying in the airport. Oh, look. This Nigerian man is supposed to pick us up. Snacks. First of all, he said it was 20 minutes away. We said, ah, praise God. You know, 20 minutes away from LHI, it's not bad. Then he said it was 4 minutes away. We said, ah, praise God. And it's not lays, it's walkers. Not them, no walkers. But it was four minutes away. We said, ah, praise God, it's getting close by. Another hour went by. We said, well, where are you now? He said he's 30 miles away. <laughs> it is not is this trouble? <laughs> like trouble. <laughs> I'm not tired at all. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, nice. Yeah. Are you American? Yeah. Of course he's American. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're in a British cab. Oh, we're, Brit we're in a British cab. No, you know. And we're on our way to Stephen A's right now. And she can see the side. She's close. Look at where me and Daddy are sitting. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to sit up. Oh, we tried it. Down for it. <laughs> no, we have to wear seat belts. We don't have seat belts. Right, you gotta wear your belt. I have seat belts too. Let me take my book bag off. Yo, this this whole experience is just hilarious. It's in, like my friend David would say, it's interesting. Interesting. It's an interesting predicament. Hello, friends. It's a day. It's it's a whole day. I, we've been trying to figure out how to get um, hot water and air, like cold air. Um, but we bless God, the ride from the airport to Stevenage was a heaven of a ride. It was a heaven of a ride. We speak those things that we want in Jesus' name. It was horrible. The taxi was uncomfortable, but we bless the Lord. We're not complaining. We're not complaining on this trip. God is good. All is well in the world, and we bless the name of Jesus. So I'm just like down here. I came to the lobby. Everything is really, it's, it's nice. I, I like I like Steven H so far. It's, it's, it's doing good things. I just came down to the lobby real quick to see if I can get the lady who's supposed to be here. She ain't here. I also try to go to the nail place to fix my nails. So everything in Stevenage seems to be like walking distance, at least from where we're at. And they close at five. Who closes their nail shop at five? When I got these nails, these ladies were doing these nails till like eight, nine p.m. But you know, here in Europe, I think they respect them and they respect their families and they respect their mind and they have more free will. Who goes home at five? Who? Anyway, shop. All is well in Jesus' name. I just try to ask one of the people here, but they're also foreigners and they had a heavy accent. All is well in Jesus' name. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get up. Tomorrow morning is a day of the traditional wedding. I'm gonna get up really quickly and go fix this nail. 
I will never do this nail again. I'm not used to doing this nail, you can tell. Can you tell? This is a mess. But we bless God and all is well, all will be well in Jesus' name. I'm just gonna go upstairs. It seems like the lady's not here, obviously. So, I still haven't eaten. I'm waiting on my, on my cousins to bring me some food, some Nigerian food. I am rounding up day one of Europe vlog. I'm putting on some moisturizer. I use Curology. It is Bonsami. Well, people ask me this. I use Curology first, after washing my face. And then I put on moisturizer. I have the one where you, um, where your subscription also includes Curology wash. So that's what I use. So I'm gonna put on moisturizer where in our room. Sorry, I didn't get to show the room. Timmy is sleeping. But the view is gorgeous. Yeah, the view is gorgeous. I was gonna take a walk today, but it's probably not gonna happen. I'm very tired. I'm going to sleep. I'm gonna read my Bible. I broke my Bible. I don't play with my Bible. Oh, my hand is blocking everything. Oh no. Yeah. People ask me about this Bible. It's the Inspire Bible. I like people to find out what I've used that has helped me a lot in my walk with Christ. Let me open some. Show you. This is Revelations. I just read Revelations last month or day about. So this is the Inspire Bible. So I'm gonna say, right now, I'm actually in the book of Isaiah. I finished the New Testament, and I'm gonna take it back to the Old Testament. I stopped off in, I think, Song of Solomon's, and Song of Solomon's, Song of Solomon. I'm gonna read Isaiah 3 tonight before I sleep, but I'm gonna sleep. We had dinner, we had rice, it was good. It's all my stuff pretty much unpacked and I might do a face mask tonight. We'll see how that goes. Um, it was a very good night. I slept very well. Hey guys! Hi! Today is the traditional. Yes, it the, is. Uh, Zon, what's how I'm lit up? Yeah. We Look at highlight popping. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I was going to say, ooh. <laughs> do, you see, do you see our highlights? Oh, melanin goddess. Oop, oop, oop. I think the nail. <laughs> I was hiding that nail. Okay, well, we're ready, ready, and we're ready. Fix the nail. To go. I'm just gonna put on my and wrap.
my cousins. I have family, or people that think I just fell out of the sky. Mm. I did not fall out of the sky. This is a cousin, this is a cousin. Everybody, ah. <laughs> anyway, Shah, these are all the cousins. This is Visayo, and this is me. Good morning. Going down. Please mind the door. Good morning. Doors close. Yo. Oh, here we go. Going it's the down. morning after the traditional. I went to bed around 4 a.m. I couldn't leave until my cousin left. So we cleaned. Well, not clean like that, but just made sure she was all right before we go home. The family inside, I know that family discussion. We're talking and just chilling, hanging out. It's ground floor. I'm walking to Asda right now. Doors to see if I can opening. get some things. And then today, we are going to the central London to do some things. So, that's the plan for today. And then tomorrow is the white wedding. Oh, Jesus' is door. Uh, anyways, tomorrow's the white wedding. Um, so we have like a free day today. I like the way my cousin set this whole thing up because can you imagine that we're up till 4 a.m. yesterday and then this morning we have to jump around and start going to the church for right wedding. Nobody has time for that. But um, yeah, let's walk to Asda. So I'm at the checkout line at Asda. I came to buy spaghetti, but obviously I ended up buying chocolate and digestives because I need to go and get stock markets and digestives. But anyways, I realized that here they don't have um, plastic bags. Let me get this off my hand. They don't have plastic bags. Like I came here and I'm like, where's the plastic bags? Usually plastic bags are right here. There's no plastic bags. I either have to walk with all this stuff in my hand or buy a plastic bag for 10p. So I had to buy a plastic bag because on a midgen. Scanjo. Alright, we the family's in tow. I pass say hi. I'm giving them money. I'ma say hi. Hi. Alright. We're gonna say hi. Okay. My brother just went to go and give somebody a track. Let me say hi. Hi guys. We are in Stevenage. We're headed to London. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Come with us. You cannot turn around. We moved from St. Pancras. I said, eh? Pancreas? So we're in St. Pancras. We are still going to our destination. Come on, tell them to come along. Come along. Come along. We are on our way to King's Cross right now. So I'm about to get on the tube and um, we're going to Central London. So. I, I'm sure you didn't say tube. We said tube. <laughs> going on the tube to huh? Central London. <laughs> Too much, too much, too much, too 
now we're crossing. Let's go. This is Lagos. Yes, Charles. Keke, Keke Mara. Jesus. Only my mother. Preaching to. Jesus said, Go, this place is a go, Lagos. Lagos, this. Alright, so, where's the eye? Look, no! So I realized that I did not end the vlog at all. Like that was not an ending. Um, I was just a part of just I was dancing. That's not an ending. So I just want to come in here and say thank you for watching. I'm glad you clicked on this video. I'm glad you wanted to watch my travel video um, and say uh, that watch out for the next one. I couldn't put everything in one because it was too much. Watch out for the Spain and um, Italy vlog. And I just want to thank God. You know we have to go back to God on this. I definitely want to thank God for the opportunity to travel. Many people wish they could. Um, it's a it's an opportunity. I don't take it for granted. Um, I also want to thank God for the, I, the just the fact that I like to travel. I enjoy it. So I'm thanking God for that. Also, just want to encourage you if you're at home watching this, because many times when I watch vlogs, I'm under the covers, no makeup. And I'm just like, oh my God, when will I get to experience this? When when will I experience this? If you're experiencing a dry season in your life where it seems like things are not progressing, they're not moving forward. I was talking to my friend today and Obiamaka was saying that doesn't adults, you know, doesn't our twenties feel like the longest season ever? Like there's no expiration date. I say, ah sis, there's expiration dates. Nothing is permanent. And that's what I'm here to say to you is that nothing is permanent. Whatever season, whatever condition you're in, it will last. It has expiration dates. God is on your side. It is well with you. Okay? Like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Mwah.